she said that I should uh, pass on her question, but she's not here. Uh, Mr. Chairman, our concern as the Uganda is on the process, which is always followed before making all these commitments. For example, human rights, because some of us, we do want our societies to be considered when you're defining some of these aspects. For example, in Uganda, issues of LGBT and homosexuality, I can tell you, and uh, abortion are issues that can never be accepted and we shall not pass laws which we shall be uh, around them. If people do want to be uh, homosexuals or what, we don't have a problem. Let them go and have their life. But promotion of that in our country can never be accepted. And then when I heard someone saying that these are human rights which you must be respected, they are universal. I just want to assure you, they can never, they can never. So what does it help for you to sign an agreement which we can never domesticate? If you went and talked to our ambassador, our minister, and you made resolutions, I'm the deputy speaker of parliament. I can assure you the parliament I, I lead will never pass laws that are going to be against our values and I received one of the packs from Renew Europe, and they had written on values not for sale. African values can never be exchanged for European funding. That one can never. So I request that we define human rights so that we know the boundaries. Human rights, we don't involve issues of LGBT. We don't involve issues of abortion, because that is on the core of the African culture and society. I thank you. Thank you very much, colleague.